I'm going to show you how to get the Stargazer heirloom. In this one, we'll be heading into the Carrion Study Hall. Now, before coming into here, I recommend getting the inverted statue, which you can see on the table just here. Now, you get this from Rani's quest line. If you don't already have it and don't know what to do, I'll make sure it's in the pinned comment down below. And there will be a card that pops up at around the 40 second mark for all of the character quest lines. So, if there's a quest line like that that you feel like you need to progress, that's where you'll find it. Once you've got those things, then we can head on straight in. Um, obviously, if you haven't already done the carrion study hall, do the first part first, come back, and then you can put the put the statue on there to flip it over. Uh, as you can see just there, you can take it back off anyway, so you can get to both iterations pretty easily if you need to. But for our purposes, put the statue on there. We're going to head on in. So, with a few enemies down, we can head straight through here. Your first time in here, you'll have the NPC in here firing... Um, blue arrows at you, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. I've already taken it out just to make make it so it's quicker for the location video itself. I'm just going to jump over onto this wall. Probably a bit maverick of me just there, but no worries. But I should remember what that loot is behind me. I haven't picked it up in so long. Right, so we're just going to run off, run off, run off. So just be careful because we've got hand boy over there. Other hand there. Everything I wants to jump on me. Over this way, there's actually going to be a ranged enemy, which is worth us taking out. Where are you? Well, it's not a ranged enemy, but it'll throw um, the little pots that create magical projectiles, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. So just take those ones out. We can drop off onto here. We're going to do the jump trick here. So press jump, hold sprint whilst you're still in the air. That way, when we press forward, we'll already be in the sprint animation, allowing us to jump straight over nice and easy. What we want to do now is over onto the beam. Move over onto this beam and then see if we can hit the bullseye. Nope, missed it. I keep on trying to hit this so that we can go straight down. <laughs> um, might as well skip down to the bottom. Okay, so once we're down here, as you can see, lift us down there. We're going to head on straight through the upside down door just here and everything is going to suddenly right itself. There's a bit of a cutscene so I'll skip past that. Okay, I think cool. So from here, you'll want to use the grace. There will be a godskin apostle, not apostle, the fat one, right in front of you just here. That's going to be a boss fight as you head down this way. You have the whole bridge to fight it on, so feel free to get it stuck on corners and stuff like this. Um, and you can clip through it if you're uh, if you're pretty quick. That's pretty cool. Either way, we'll pass on to the tower where our item is going to be. So obviously, once you got to the tower, you come up the lift, and then you can head up the stairs. I'm sure most people will be leaving by now because it's quite obvious. Um, if you are leaving now, please leave a like. Hopefully you'll uh, join us again on the channel. That'd be great. And just come on over to where the old two figures would be. And you'll have your Stargazer Elium. As well as the Cursed Mark of Death. If you happen to be following Fia's questline. I close out the video and I'll see you all in the next one.